You pass through dozens of doorways and gateways every day. In most cases, you probably don't realize that access points have to comply with very high safety standards. This also applies to horizontal and vertical industrial doors. Access gates in public areas in particular must be protected in accordance with the DIN EN 12453 standard. Is on the primary and secondary closing edges of industrial doors provides the necessary protection. Providing door protection in accordance with the relevant standards prevents injuries and property damage. When it comes to choosing the right safety edge profile, the over-travel is the key factor. This refers to the breaking distance of the door from the time of the stop command until it comes to a final stop. To measure the over-travel, you will need the following materials. A cardboard box, a copper wire cable as a conductor, a pad of paper to place underneath, a folding rule, and a pen. Strip around 40 centimeters of insulation from one end of the cable and 20 centimeters from the other. Make one hole in one of the sides of the box and two holes on the opposite side. Pull the bare wire through and connect the end inside the cardboard box by twisting. Stick the cable end with the long stripped section to the primary closing edge of the door panel. Connect the two wires at the other end of the cable to a stop input on the door control system. Place the prepared box on the marking on the pad of paper so it is positioned centrally in relation to the door panel. Now close the door. As soon as the door panel touches the copper wire, it will break. The box will move slightly. Make a second marking right in front of the box and measure the distance between the two markings. The difference corresponds to the over-travel. To ensure that the value obtained is as accurate as possible, you should perform this process three times and take the average of your results. After installing the safety edge, you should check that the door works properly and, above all, in accordance with the relevant standards. You should use a force gauge for this purpose. The dynamic force must not exceed 400 newtons. A force of more than 150 newtons may act on the profile for maximum of 0.75 seconds. The force must not exceed 25 newtons for more than 5 seconds.